Hey guys, it's uh, it's me, Second Soundwave, and I'm doing a doing a different kind of video today because I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. I'm like four days behind on Gunpla News because I did two pre-recorded videos and then I skipped a day and then I ended up skipping another day. So it is now Saturday and I haven't done an actual up-to-date live news video since Monday, I think. And there's been all sorts of new stuff, you know, box art for things like the Barbatos Rex. So, big stuff that I really should have reported earlier, but I gotta get that out now. And also, the real great build strike. I kind of built it and then left it there for a couple days, and I picked it up and started messing with it, formed some opinions on it, put it in the reviewing room, started reviewing it, and then partway through the review, realized that I actually had a very different opinion at that point than I had when I started the video, so I scrapped that entire thing, decided to sleep on it, so again, now it's Saturday, so I got that and the news video to do, and then, because I'm so far behind, I really should also be unboxing this guy today, because I want to do this guy after I'm done with the uh, real great build strike, so I want to have the unboxing for this already, so I can just throw that up if uh, I don't feel like doing a video on Monday or Tuesday or whenever that would come out. So I got that to do as well, and because, you know, I'm just obsessed with work and I want to make more work for myself. I'm also doing a behind the scenes video that you'll probably be watching on Second Soundwave, which is a channel you almost certainly had never heard of before I made this video because it had zero content on it. I just made it. I was like, hey, I want this channel in case I want to do stuff that's not directly Gunpla related. And here you go. It's a crappy behind the scenes vlog. But while I'm here, I might as well show you my giant wall of Gunpla boxes because, you know, you guys have seen this in part in many of my videos. I've never really shown you the full, kind of, full glory of this whole pile of boxes, really. So as you can see, we got every single model I've ever built here, except for a few others I'm going to show you in just a minute. So, a lot of boxes. A lot of, lot of, lot of boxes, including a couple kits that I've actually not reviewed before. Got the cube lay down there. And then we got these jars over here. And what these jars are for is uh, my first six kits that I built. I was not planning on actually collecting Gunpla at the time. I thought this was just going to be a one-off or, I guess, six-off thing in this case, where I was like, you know what? These are cool, but I'm not going to really collect that many of these. I'm just going to take all the accessories and store them in a Ziploc bag, you know, cut the fronts off the boxes, pin them on my wall like an idiot. And, you know, that's what I'm going to do. And I thought that was, and that was a pretty good idea at the time. And then I started building more and more Gunpla. Anyway, I started building more and more Gunpla, and I realized that was a terribly impractical way to store accessories. So now I keep every single box, and I store the accessories in the boxes. But for those first six kits, I have those jars of nuts that I've emptied the nuts from, and I now use them to store parts in. And yes, I did wash them out first. I'm not an idiot. But this here is where I build my kits. It's where I do pretty much all my builds, actually. Used to be over there behind me. Now it's over here. It's a nice little corner, and it's a good enough table. It helps that it's a very old beat up table, which means that I can kind of like cut right on the table without worrying about messing too much up since it's already pretty banged up. And then if we slide back here, actually there's more boxes that I almost forgot to show you, but we have some of the smaller kits back here. And then under here, if we go underneath the high grade backlog, you can see all the master grades that I've built. All four of them. And my model sort of quote unquote display is actually kind of crap. It's just this bookshelf that I have sitting on top of my dresser. I don't really, I can't really afford like nice shelves right now and I'm not sure I want to set them up right now since I'm not sure how long I'm going to be living in this room. I'll probably move out sometime soonish and I don't necessarily want to make like a really cool custom display that's like specifically fitted to this room because when I move I'll have to do something else anyway so I might as well wait for that. But I got, you know, my 1-100s up here. I got some little Gundam and other miscellaneous stuff here. Then I have alternate universe high grades. This was all my UC high grades. But then I decided to uh, spread a lot of them out onto here. So now I have all my Unicorn and Kotoki designs, as well as the GM3 and the Zeta, because I really like those two. And then up here on the mantle, I've got what will be a very big IBO display, but right now it's just two kits, because I only have two kits from IBO. And I actually ended up not getting as many kits from IBO as I thought I would, because I originally thought this wouldn't be enough space to hold them, and then I ended up not buying a lot of the models I planned on getting. But that's enough screwing around for today. Now I gotta actually make stuff. So, this is my mic set up. I got the stand, the pop filter, all the usual stuff. And then the microphone is attached by this cable that goes all the way down to here and up to here. And onto this. 
soundboard on my bed. Now this has lots of fancy gimmicks and gadgets on it that I'm sure are very useful, but basically all I use this for is a recorder. I could probably do all my editing on this if I knew how to use it, but to be perfectly honest, I already know how to use Audacity. I like using Audacity, and I have to put the files into the computer anyways to uh, get them into the video, so I might as well do the editing there since that's where I'm comfortable doing it. And that's everything pretty much set up how I usually do it for Gunpla News. The only other piece of equipment I really use is my uh, tablet here because I'll usually have a script on here if I'm doing a fully scripted video. If not, I'll at least have like a little outline, some bullet points. In this case, since this is such a rushed video, um, I'm just going to be looking at the pictures I've downloaded over the last few days and talking about the kits that are in them and really hoping I don't miss anything important. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So the uh, Gunpla News recording actually went really well. I think that's probably one of the best ones I've done in a while. I felt really energized, really excited while I was doing it. I think doing the behind the scenes video here actually kind of helped in that regard because it got me a little more hyped up and excited to do this. And you know what? Uh, while I'm feeling in a mood to record stuff, I'm going to just get as much of this stuff done as I can, basically. Come on, almost done, almost done. And there we go. Okay. So, now, I can uh, grab the SD card from here, and I'll just have to remember to take this down with me when I go down to do all my editing, and I'll be able to put this stuff onto the computer. And here we are in the back room where I record all my reviews. So, I did actually start reviewing the uh, Build Strike yesterday, actually. That's why he's kind of all built up here with all his armor and stuff on, and all his uh, build boosters and whatnot. And I got halfway through the video. Well, I started doing the video. I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to say about the kit. Got partway through it, and I found I was kind of contradicting myself a lot. And I really hadn't, I didn't have enough experience with the kit. I hadn't really messed around with it enough to get a good kind of solid idea of what the kit was like. And I was literally discovering things about it as I was making the video. And it just looked really kind of half-assed and unprofessional. So I'm going to try again tonight. And hopefully, uh, hopefully this version uh, turns out a bit better. So... Just gonna have to turn all this stuff on. And yes, that is a pink lamp. They didn't have enough red ones at the dollar store. And I'm gonna just start revealing it. So I just finished recording my review of the Real Grade Build Strike Gundam, and uh, it went pretty well. I had one one little instance there, which where I would have had some perfect comedic timing if only I had the camera panned out enough to show the full body. Because basically I made a comment about him being in a crappy pose, and just as soon as I said that, one of his feet dropped off. It was funny, but unfortunately it happened off camera, so I wasn't able to show you guys. So since I have now finished the review of the Build Strike Gundam, I'm faced with the dilemma of where to put it. Because, uh, yeah, not a lot of space here. Eh, screw it, I'm just going to put him in with the UC suits. Just kind of put him in here, maybe tip to the side. I'm going to bring Mr. GM Sniper over here. Awesome kit, by the way. I want to do another video on this one because my older view was really stupid and awkward and constantly out of focus, and I want to give this guy the chance he deserves because he's a cool kit. He's a cool kit. So I'm thinking now that I'm probably not going to record the Boogie unboxing tonight since that's a pretty quick, short video, and I can just throw that in tomorrow somewhere. So uh, now I basically just have to uh, get all my stuff together and go downstairs and start editing. So we're back, and as you can see, it is quite late. I usually start editing around 9 o'clock-ish, but I had some unfortunate delays tonight, so I wasn't able to get started until just now. But, uh, yeah, this is where the editing begins. There we go. So, uh, one of my favorite things just happened. Uh, what is that thing, you may ask? Well, I, uh, I was browsing around on Gundam Guy, and of course, mind you, as you saw earlier, I've already filmed tonight's Gunpla News episode, and I'm just sitting down to edit it. And of course, as always, there's something new that popped up at the last minute, and everyone's gonna be like, Oh, why didn't you talk about the new pictures of 100 Barbatos Rex? Because it takes me, like, five hours to make one of these videos, and I have, like, another four hours ahead of me and I'm two hours behind schedule and this is just gonna be a... Uh, <sighs> this is this is gonna be rough. So the first three minutes or so of the recording 
were uh, basically just me screwing around because I forgot that I had it actually recording and then I forgot a second time and it wasn't until right about here that I started actually talking about the episode. The nice thing is though, through the magic of editing, I can just do this and cut it out completely. And that is the final cut of the audio for tonight's Gumpla News. And it is only 11.11. Okay. So we got Filmora open, so now I'm gonna add the audio. And let me see if it still is here. Here we go, I'm gonna add the intro. So right now it looks like this. Hello and welcome to Channel 2 West. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and oh boy, it's been a while. It's been probably a good four. Or... Okay. So basically now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in, uh, where are they? Here. All these pictures in order in the timeline. Sync them up to what I'm saying. Maybe add some zooms and fades and stuff and then export it. Okay, so I finished editing the video and it is now converting and this conversion process, uh, depending on the length of the video, can uh, take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and right now it is uh, quickly closing in on midnight so uh, this will uh, this will be a long night. So it turns out the uh, video actually rendered pretty quickly so uh, I still gotta jump into here though, go into GIMP because... I gotta make a thumbnail, and uh, well, it's uh, it is now officially midnight, so gotta get moving. I'm still figuring out how I'm gonna work with this new sort of thumbnail design I started with 2017. I mean, I can't really, I can't really put the put any text down here because this is where the uh, video time meter thing is usually down in this corner, and I could I could put it up here, but that would cover up the region lays, and I could put it over here or here. I don't really want to put it down here. Ooh, actually, you know what I could do? I could put it up here. It's not really covering up his face. And it also looks like he's kind of slashing the logo. That's pretty cool. So now all I'm going to do before I uh, upload it is basically just watch the video one more time. Uh, watch the fully sort of rendered out file to ensure that there are no editing mistakes. Because this is basically my last chance to go back and fix anything before it goes public. Ah, so here we are, guys. It is 12.24. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm more or less on schedule, even though I started an hour and a half late. Uh, as you can see, I have, you know, quality coastal main internet, so that means it's going to take a long-ass time to upload this 500 megabyte file. So I'm not going to wait for this. I'm just going to... I'm just going to go to bed. I usually just let these run overnight and then in the morning uh, I add the end card which is why a lot of times you know the first if you're one of the first you know seven or eight hundred people to watch one of my videos you probably uh, you probably never see the end cards because uh, it sometimes takes me a while to put them up uh, time to call it good and uh, I'm too tired to really do any kind of flashy, fancy outro for this, so I'm just going to say thank you for uh, watching to the end of this kind of weird behind-the-scenes vlog video thing. And uh, I guess I'll probably see you again at some point if this video does well or if anything, really. Like, I don't know. This is getting awkward. Bye.